99.99 to Hamas, I'm a member. No. Okay. This, yes. this yes. is a man. Yes. Don't joke about yes. supporting yes. terrorism. Yes. Yes. Don't support okay. about it. I did not say right. ISIS's yes. persecution of the Shia Muslims. Okay. Is that alright? Yes. Yes. Is that alright? Yes. Right? Yes. Right? Yes. Right? Yes. Can I go back to no. talking okay. about murdered Christians no, no, listen, now? Listen, listen. Without you being okay. offended. No. Allah says in the Quran, indeed, it was them who attacked you first. Go to Surah Buruj, verse 7. Allah says, we saw what they were doing with the believers. They, and listen, this doesn't New Zealand come into your mind? All, all the now, Jews in Israel yeah, innocent. Israel is a terrorist state. There you go. Yeah, there you so go. he <laughs> says Israel's not innocent. Yeah, so in other words, uh, he is justifying it. He's embarrassed by his text. And that's why he's still here trying to legitimize the persecution of Christians. that being orthodox is not about following Jesus. Go on. Which bishop? One second. Oh, Which Shire, bishop? Shire. Oh, we come Shire. You you've got no, you've got no claim to orthodoxy. You have no claim to orthodoxy. You don't have a claim to it as a heritage. You don't have a claim to it as a belief. You don't have a claim to it as a culture. Really? You're not orthodox. Our ancestors built the Byzantine Empire. No, no. My ancestors. My ancestors. Are you? Are you saying? Are you Greek? Are you saying? Are you saying? Are you saying? It's about ethnic identities. Ah, there you go. He National says identity. that being Christian no. is about no, 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 no. an ethnic no, no. identity Orthodox. in complete Orthodox. contradiction Orthodox to what Christianity actually teaches. One second, I'm not talking to you right now. Christianity teaches that there is no ethnicity. When you become a Christian, you join a new ethnic group, the Christians. It has got nothing to do with being Greek and it has got nothing to do with being Russian. You have no... One, I'm not talking to you right now. You have, no, I'm not talking to you. You have no claim to orthodox heritage. It's got nothing to do with ethnicity. That is the kind of illogical teaching. Shall I show you, tell you what the Bible says? The Bible says... Did you, are you listening? The Bible says... The Bible says, bro. Right, I'll talk to him off camera. Let him, let him be off camera. J JC, let him be off camera. I'll talk to you off camera. Being Christian, this is what the Bible says. There is no Greek and no Jew. They're one in Jesus Christ. So what it says is there is no Greek. Are you Greek or Orthodox? Tell me, which are you? Which are you? Greek or Orthodox? <laughs> right, but the, the scriptures say there is no Greek or Jew. All are one in Jesus Christ. Being a Christian has got nothing to do with ethnicity. You have no claim to Hagia Sophia. None. It was built by Christians. Those were my ancestors, not yours. Those were my people, not yours. You've got nothing to do with Orthodox heritage. Show me the bishop that says being Orthodox is not about following Jesus. Show me. I've been in the Metropolitan Cathedral in Athens. When they give the Passover message, they give it in every language of the world. So what's it got to do with being Greek? Nothing. Because the message of the Christian people is Catholic. The message of the Christian people is for Arabs. The message of the Christian people is for Greeks. It's for Russians. It's for Serbs. It's for Hispanics. It's for um, Indonesians. It's for Syrians. It's for Malaysians. It's for Chinese. Being Christian is about joining a different nation, a different citizenship, a different kingdom. And it is not the prerogative. It is not owned by any ethnicity. So it is wrong for Greek nationalists like this man here to claim, to claim anything that is Christian as if it is the possession of the Greeks. It, isn't, it doesn't belong to the Greeks. The Greeks belong to the church. And it is the church that owns orthodoxy. And that orthodoxy can be shared with anyone from any race. 
you don't have any claim to orthodox heritage and you should stop going around the park yeah. saying that you do <laughs> because Christianity has nothing to do with ethno-nationalism yeah. Christianity is for all ethnicities the church is what I'm talking about you're changing the subject completely what I'm saying is I have no problem with 10 million African Christians coming to Europe because they have more in common with me as a Christian than an ethno-nationalist like this brother here. <laughs> no, don't bring it to me. Don't, don't put her on camera. She doesn't want to put her on camera. What I'm saying, so, so, okay, so the question is why does someone have to have something in common to come here? I'm not saying that, sister. The question was, do I have a problem with people from different parts of the world coming here? And I'm saying, in contrast to my conversation with this man here, that I have no problem with 10 million Africans who are Christian coming to Europe because, because they have every right to the Christian heritage of Europe just as I, as a Christian, have every right to the Christian heritage of Ethiopia and of Egypt and Greece and Serbia and Russia. Christianity has a telos, a point, a fixed point that all Christians are trying to move towards. And as we move towards that telos, we come closer together. We become more like one another. And that's the way that Christianity works, which is why it is supra-ethnic. It is above ethnicity. It's why it is super-class. It is above your class and status in society. It is above nationalism, because it is above any nationality. You're right, brother. It is a new form of nationality that brings people together from different races and different countries united in a common identity with a common history, a common set of values and a common set of beliefs. Yes, sister. Yeah, it's a very fair question. I'm going to repeat it. Correct me if I misrepresent your question. What you're saying is that the struggles of, say, someone who is black or Indian, even if they are a Christian, is different from the struggles that I would face as a white European Christian. And thus, because of that reason, we should identify people's colour. OK, is that fair? OK. I agree with a lot of the assumptions that underlie the question. The struggle of black Christians in this country is different from the struggle of a white Christian. Because our society, our society, you'll have to forgive the clown, they do get attracted to Speaker's Corner. Yeah? So, so, you're not white. Okay. Excuse me. Sister, sister, I'm going to try and stand closer to you so I can answer your question. Don't put her on camera. So I'm standing closer so this sister can get an answer to her question. You'll just have to, you'll just, you'll just have to ignore it. Okay. So, so, what I'm saying, can you hear me? Yeah. So what I'm saying is. What, what? Brother, you're being rude to the girl. You're being rude to the girl. Don't put her on camera. Don't. He's just being rude to the sister. She's asked a question and he won't let her. Right. Do you want me to answer the question or him? No. What's the question? No, you don't come. Don't no, dominate know the girl. What the question was? What was the question? Don't dominate the girl. Leave her alone. Are you right? Who's answering the question? Yeah. Okay. So, in terms, in terms of ethnicity. What's the question? In terms of Christian solidarity, What's a Christian? we should, we should understand, we oh, should on, understand. Man. I'm so sorry, sister. Shut. Okay, we're going to walk away from this guy so the sister can have an answer to the question. Come this side of the camera, sister. Sister, come this way. Yeah, you stay off camera. So, in answer to your question, we as, I, I fully accept that the struggles of, of, of different ethnicities is different because of their ethnicity. But what I am saying is that I wouldn't judge a man because of his ethnicity. I wouldn't say that someone who is, say, black, yeah, is less than me because I'm white. 
And that's what I mean when I say that Christian identity is above ethnicity. It's a way of saying that we're all equal and that matters of the colour of our skin are not important. I believe that every human being is born with a dignity that is given to them by God because they're made in the image of God and that is something you're born with it's not something dependent upon your religion but but I see Christians as my family and so I have an obligation that is above the obligation that I owe to a non-Christian in the same way that every human being has a, a sense of they should do right by everyone but they have a special obligation to their mothers, their fathers, their brothers, their sisters and their cousins. So if you were in public with someone like, uh, someone would be like racist to someone, yeah. because they're not Christian, would you like not defend them? Of course I would defend them. Of course I would defend them. But let's, let's look at another example, right? In the news recently, we all heard about that horrendous event that happened in New Zealand, right? 56 Muslims killed in cold blood by a racist because they were immigrants. Now the media told you it was all Islamophobia, that was a lie, it wasn't. It was an attack based upon race, not religion. Okay? Did any of you hear about the 120 Christians that were butchered in Nigeria on the 11th of March this month, this year? You didn't, did you? So let me ask you a question. Why didn't you hear about them? Didn't you hear about them because they were black? Didn't you hear about them because they were poor or didn't you hear about them because they were Christian? The media always talks about the horrendousness and the, the wrongness of racism. So we know it isn't because they were black. And the media always talks about how to help the poor. So we know it isn't because they were poor. What does that leave? It leaves the fact that they were Christian. 120 Christians were murdered in cold blood in Nigeria on the 11th of March and you never heard about it. What's the liberal media doing? They are saying that the lives of Christians are worth less than the lives of Muslims. Now that's not a criticism of anyone but the media, but it is something that you should be aware of. Oh, absolutely, sister. High five. Me and you are in total agreement. Yep. Yeah. You're totally right. The media invite you to look here, right? They say, look at this square. Don't look out of the square. And the reason why they invite us to look at a certain square is because they are trying to herd us in a certain direction. They want to make us sheepishly follow the narrative that they have constructed. And that's why anyone who contradicts their narrative, they lampoon, they deride, and they accuse of being some kind of hate preacher. The fact that as a Christian, I speak up about the fact that 120 Christians in Nigeria were butchered, hacked to death by men, women and children. Go and look into it yourself. By Muslim extremists. And I point out that that hasn't been talked about in the media. I guarantee there'll be some liberal left-wing progressive who will accuse me of hate speech. And all I've done is demand that my family, my brothers and sisters in Nigeria should be treated with the same dignity and value that the Muslims in New Zealand were treated with. Why is it as a society we have this term Islamophobia but there's no such word like Christophobia? Why don't we talk about the prejudice that is directed towards Christians because of their faith? I'll tell you why. It's because the media are using this term Islamophobia to suppress legitimate and fair criticism of an ideology. Islam for 1400 years has persecuted Christians. That is just a fact, like saying the sky is blue, 
gravity pulls you down. See, because if an Irish person does something, then they're an IRA terrorist, so we get the terrorist shite as well. My mum was searched every day going to work in the 70s during the Troubles, like, and I don't, I don't like the whole, the black or white thing I think that comes from American media, where, like, fat, like, white people are the white supremacy, and it's all a European versus African thing, but you're, like, oppression and colonisation happened within Europe as well, so I just... Yeah. just shall I, shall I tell you how the media saying, work? Right? The media work by packaging information in a way that they think you can understand. However, they also put a rose-tinted filter on the information as they present it to you. So if they want you to have a certain opinion about someone or something, they will present that information in a certain way. And basically, the liberal media think you're all thick. So they present things in simplistic dualities. So you think there's a liberal media? There is a liberal media. I don't think it exists. One second, bro. I will reply to that, but just let me deal with this brother's comment. So the liberal media present things in simple, false dualities because they essentially think you're too thick to understand nuance, variation and difference. And so, they will not talk about the fact that Muslims are persecuting Christians right now as we speak in Pakistan, Egypt, Nigeria and a whole bunch of other parts of the world because they think that you're so stupid that you will just think that every Muslim is responsible for that. That's why they won't talk about it. But they should talk about it and they should be forced to talk about it. Let me just deal with that brother's comments and then... Okay, so the brother, uh, the brother said, do I think there is a liberal media? To be more precise, I don't want to cast aspersions on classical liberalism. When I say liberal, it should be more accurately understood as liberal progressive. A kind of atheistic, agnostic, relativist ideology that seeks to negotiate the world in such a way as to say that questions of identity are of no value and so there's no reason to get het up, bent up and frustrated about your identity being stripped away from you by globalization because they want you to be they want you they want you to be consumers of the products that they produce and the experiences that they provide so that they become rich. And that is why they tell you, don't get it up about the persecution of Christians in the Middle East. Because if you did, you might think that there's something more important than your own personal experiences and what kind of shoes and handbags you own. Sister, you had a comment or a question? Let me, can, can I reply to that? Okay, can, so the sister, the sister says that it wasn't about, that the people that kill people are outside of the religions that they claim to follow. And I fully understand, sister, why you say that. I fully get that. Because that's the message that the media tell you all the time. Now, let me be clear because my next comment could be very easily misunderstood. So I want to qualify it before I say it so that people understand what I'm really saying. I am the first to say that not every Muslim is a terrorist and that there are many Muslims who would disagree with the persecution of Christians by their Muslim brothers and sisters. So I'm not saying that every Muslim is responsible. However, and this is why I think you're wrong, sister. We Christians have lived under Islamic rule 
for 1400 years in different parts of the world. So we have 1400 years upon which to base our understanding of what ru being ruled by Islam means for us. And universally, down through 1400 years of Christian Muslim history, and right across the entire world, that experience has been consistent. We Christians have been persecuted. So whilst not every Muslim is responsible for that, it is fair to say that those Muslims, those particular Muslims, let's say, let's say that 3% that do persecute Christians are doing so because something in Islam legitimizes that. And before you contradict me, sister, I invite you, you, you can contradict me, but I invite you when you go away to look up the plight of the Coptic Christians, to look up the plight of the Pakistani Christians, to go and look at the plight of the Nigerian Christians, to go and look at the plight of the Christians in Eastern Europe under the Ottoman Empire, to go and look at the plight of the Christians who lived under Islam in the Abisad Spain, to go and look at the plight of Christians in Tunisia today, in Palestine today, in Egypt today, in Nigeria today, in Morocco today, in Lebanon today, in Pakistan today, in Syria today, in Jordan today, in Saudi Arabia today, in Chad today, in South Sudan today, in North Sudan today, in Somalia today, in Malaysia today, in Indonesia today in many parts of the world. You're not ashamed. Where did you get that information from? So the sister. Sister, 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 let's say it's three percent. We all agree, we all agree that the extremist Muslims are a tiny minority of the overall Muslim population. Three percent. What's three percent of 1.2 billion people? That's 40 million people. Yes. That's a problem. Very much. That's a problem. Let me, sister, let me understand. Right, so sister, this is, this is what I'm asking you to do. I'm asking you to do your research. Because what I am not saying is that every Muslim is bad. I'm not saying that. I've dated Muslims. I've been friends with Muslims. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, so, one second. Let me, let me just reply, and then you reply. What I'm saying to you is that the media has lied to you. They have said to you, they have said to you that Christians can be just as bad as Muslims. So where's the evidence of this global Christian terrorist network blowing up mosques every day? Because Christians are being killed every day. There will be Christians dying today as we debate about whether they can be equally horrible. Now I am not saying that every Muslim taps into those Islamic teachings that teach supremacy. Most Muslims don't. But the fact is, it is there in the Quran. Did you know? Did you know? In the Quran, it teaches that I, as a Christian, in an Islamic society, should be humiliated. Thank you for asking, I'll show you. Oh, I can't.
you don't know your own history. I've been friends with Muslims and dating Muslims. Yeah. It's yeah. not really an argument, because it's like a racist person We're saying, I'm probably racist to have a black friend. If I said it, everyone would be racist. So it's racist. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, I get your argument. I'm not you're doing fine, sister. You're doing fine. You're doing perfectly fine. The sisters made a lot of very good points. Sister, what I'm inviting you to do. Yeah, what I'm inviting you to do. And I invite all of you who are skeptical of my words to do the same. Because I understand why you're skeptical. Everything that the society tells you, tells you that I'm wrong. Everything you hear on the radio tells you that I'm wrong. Everything you see on TV tells you that I'm wrong. So I invite you, I invite you, sister, to go away and to speak to Coptic Christians. To go away and to speak to Pakistani Christians that will contradict the lies that you have been told by the media. By contrast, sister. 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 The by contrast, sister. This man is a man. This man is misrepresenting what happened in New Zealand. What happened? What happened? What happened in New Zealand was a racist attack by an ideologue committed to racism. It was racist. And it should be condemned. But you shamefully are using that attack to push a different agenda that is not connected to reality. Do you condemn it? This is from your religion, and now you're upset. Does ISIS? You are a. Does ISIS? Yes. Yeah. Does ISIS kill Christians because they're Christian? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yeah. Did the Ottoman Empire yeah. kill Christians because they were Christian? No. no. Yeah. Right. No, no, yes, no. They yes, they did. Go and speak <laughs> to the Orthodox <laughs> Christians. Prove it. Just get prove it. Prove it. Brother, you're Orthodox, right? Yes, yes. Tell me. I'm this, Orthodox. I'm Orthodox. This brother. <laughs> this brother is an Orthodox. Orthodox Christian. Yes. Right. Did the Ottoman Turks persecute Christians in Eastern Europe because of their faith? Yes. And if you walk down the road and a Muslim came towards you, you had to cross the road. You had to wear a coat Give examples. with a belt. And you had to wear a belt. If you open the shop, Who are you? you had to be underground so that the Turk could look down upon you. It was humiliation and taxes. And these are liars. That's what, these are liars. That's what the Ottoman Turks did to the Christians. Now ask me, no, ask, this is one history. second, one second. Ali Dawa, Ali Dawa, were the Ottomans, was the Ottoman Caliphate an Islamic Caliphate? Yes, thank you very much. So ISIS, which he says was not Islamic, did the same as the Ottoman Turks, which was Islamic, and they both did the same. Can I talk? Can I talk? I'm yeah, of course you can. Did they commit genocide to the Armenians you, before we go away? Did they commit genocide to the Pontians? Calm down, Uncle. Did they commit they? Ali, 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 how many Christians died in the Armenian massacres? How many? 1.2 million. Yes, are you finished? Because this is the truth and they won't answer it. It's called diversion. Diversion. Okay, one second. One second, one second. Sister, one second. One second, sister, 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 one second. Firstly, firstly, if. You need to allow me to talk, okay? If a Muslim went into a church with a gun, automatic, with a camera, they start shooting Christians. Bang, 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 bang. And if I came to the park and said that was racist, what would these guys say? They'll, they'll get a panic attack. Have you ever had a panic attack before? You know when the heartbeat's fast, you start, I'm gonna die. Yeah? Lying. They, they don't get a panic attack. Lying. They'll say, this is called diversion. Wait a second. If the Muslim is lying, let me speak. Then you know he's well, telling the well, Let him speak for well, a few minutes. Let him speak for a few minutes and then we'll reply. Okay, you've made claims, let's address it. Their son, why are you pointing in my eye? Where's my son? Go around, focus on what you're saying, or go away, bro. You're fighting, you're fighting the conversation, bro. So, so, now, so now, one second, one second. Yeah? Sister, so I'd invite you to, invite to look up the term Janissary. One second. Now, look up now, the term Janissary. Now, Ottoman Empire, 
any Muslim, do we agree that there's bad and good Muslims? Yeah, yeah. Is there bad and good Christians? Yes. yes. And we found out, yeah? Yes. Bad and good Jews? Yes. Bad and good Hindus? Yes. yes. Okay, good. We're all in agreement. Well, well done, Borat. Well done, Borat. The Ottoman Empire, I don't know history. Have they done maybe some atrocities? Maybe they have. You just said they didn't. Right. <laughs> you said earlier they didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they, no, when they said that's what you said. I accepted it there in the caliphate. You said they, you, they, you said they didn't persecute Christians because no, no, they no, were that, Christians. No, no, that's specific. We need to give me an, uh, evidence to that. Yeah, that's. I'm going. To, I've got it right here. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. got it right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The question that we need to ask is the following. Yeah. Okay. Atrocities towards the Muslims has been done by the Christians, and the Muslims have done it to the Christians as well. Sorry, which Christians? Yeah. Which Christians? Yeah. Which Christians? Wait, wait, when did Christians Lord's commit atrocities? The Lord's Resistance Army in uh, uh, Central Africa. They're, they're not. Yeah. They're the, not. Lord's they're not. They're they're not. the Lord's they're Resistance not. Army. They're the Lord's they're Resistance they're Army. The Lord's Resistance Army was not Christian. The KK are not Christian. They're ethno nationalists. They're ethno nationalists. They're ethno nationalists. So we can both agree that there's bad and good Christians. Yeah? And Muslims. Yeah? So now. No, one second. Well, one second. We agree. I have already please, said this. I have already said this. Ali Dawa, we've already said this. I haven't finished, please. No, no, no. Don't. One minute, one minute, Ali Dawa, Ali Dawa. That, this minute. might work to people please, who don't please. know who you are, but I know who you are. You come here every week and you play this game all the time. You play this game all the time. He says there's no evidence of why Muslims fight Christians. I'll give it to you. It was okay. narrated by Abu Hurairah that finish. the Messenger of Allah, okay, I have been commanded to fight the people until they say La illala, okay. illala. If they say it, then their blood. I don't speak Arabic. Don't mock him, don't mock him. You're doing good. If you accept no, no. this time, it's good. Ali, 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 jokes aside, bro. Jokes aside. Jokes aside. Jokes aside. Jokes aside. Jokes aside. Your revision of history. Your revision of history. The Ottoman Caliphate you have already accepted was Islamic. They kidnapped Christian children. They converted them to Islam. These were called Janissaries. Apparently. Now, apparently, notice the denial. Apparently. Notice the denial. So all of you, all of you can now go away. Can anyone Google it right now? Google the word Janissaries. He says apparently, because what you don't know about Ali Dawa is he is an apologist for the very terrorists that you all condemn. Yes, yes, yes. He is an apologist yes, yes, yes. for Islamists. Islamists. That's what he is I'm, an apologist I'm a for. I'm a Muslimist. Do you condemn? Do you condemn the terrorists who are attacking Israel? Hamas, Hezbollah, yeah, yeah. Islamic Jihad. Do you condemn them? Hamas, Hamas. Yeah. One second. I, one second. One second. He, he cut me. Yeah? He cut me. Yeah? Okay. He cut me. He cut me. Do you condemn them? Yes. One second. One second. I condemn anybody that takes innocent human lives. Yeah, good. So do I. So do I. Right Thank you. Right yeah. Everybody. Yeah, we're all condemning that. All, all the now, Jews in Israel yeah. innocent. Israel is a terrorist state. There you go. So he says Israel's not innocent. So in other words, he is justifying it. He's playing games with words. He said. He said. Listen to what he said carefully. He said, I condemn anyone, anyone who kills innocent people. But Israel. Israel is not innocent. So, in other words, he supports Hezbollah. He supports Hamas. Do not be fooled by this man. Don't be fooled by him. This is a man. Don't joke about supporting terrorism. Don't support about it. This is a man who said. Who Why talked about masturbating over babies? Oh, He's on camera. Oh, oh, He's on record. This is a man. Prove it. Prove it. This is a man. This is a man. Can you prove it? This is a man who endangered. Who endangered two innocent families so he could be famous. He went around trying to dox Tommy Robinson and endangered two innocent families.
Do not be fooled by his wit and humour. He may be funny, but he is an apologist for terrorism and Islamism. Can I speak now? Yeah, of course. Thank you. No problem. I, I, I endangered two family lives. Yes, you did. I was on the front. Are you embarrassed by that, Ali? No problem. Are you embarrassed by it? You Are you embarrassed? You spoke. You spoke. I'm, I'm, I'm under more oppression. I'm under what? pressure. What? Shh. Listen, Brother, bro, let him bro, bro, bro. Yeah? When I come here, your face and your temperature changes. Yeah? Not really. And rightly so. Let me talk Not really. You. Not because really. Because you know, these are, these are, look, look, ad hominems, yeah? Personal attacks, yeah? yeah. Oh, you went and said uh, that you should ejaculate over. Where? Are they true? Where? Where? Are they true? Just prove it. So you're denying it? Prove it. Are you denying that I you tried to, to dox it. Tommy Robinson? Prove it. Are if, you denying one it? One second, one second. <laughs> if I deny it. Deny it! Deny it! Can I speak? Deny it! He's tried to do This conversation's becoming about you two just uh, no, no, cussing each other. No, one second. Allow me to talk. Be, if you call me, you showed you're just weak. You can't handle it. it. If I you said Tommy pre, Robinson's uh, address, of, uh, why did he go after Muslims. some let, white let, let me listen to him. Why did he go after a white lady? No, there's no need. It's simple. Yeah, there is. No, no, no. I don't want to divert the topic. Let's go back to it, yeah? He's saying the Ottoman Empire, very bad, etc. No problem, yeah? Yes. Let's go to history. Chief Rabbi of Edirne. You, where, where is Edirne? In you don't Turkey. Know. Turkey. Keep going. Okay. Isaac uh, Zafarti. Listen to what he says, yeah? Okay. These are the people who come and say, you impose jizya on us, yeah, we don't want to pay. Look what somebody who lived under the Islamic rule says. Yes. Did you ever live in the Islamic rule? Thankfully, no. no. Go Thank to the you. Turkish I have plenty of brothers and sisters that have, though, and still are. Thankfully, no. But let's see the Thankfully, one who no. lived. We, we, Yes, get, let's hear your selective quote, come on. Selective. Your selective quote. If I said to you guys, if I your said to you guys, quote. if I said to you guys, BMW is a very nice car, and you said to me, have you ever driven one? I said, no. You would take it from a person who's driven the car, right? Yes? Yeah. Okay, so let's yeah. go to somebody who's lived on the Islamic world. Media, Here, listen look carefully. at this box, ignore listen that carefully. one. Yeah, listen yeah, to yeah, this, yeah. but ignore that. Here in the, the land, is there any Read. Muslims? Muslim? Are you, are you Muslim? Please I record am. it because he's not, he's not going to put this up. I know this guy. Yeah, he's going to go with the. No, don't lie. Why are you lying? 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 Why are you we possess great fortunes. This man, you need to yeah, because obviously much he's going to criticize the people who have life over gold, control over life over Much there. gold and silver are in our hands. We are not oppressed with heavy taxes and our commerce is free and unhindered. Rich are the fruits of the earth. Everything is cheap. And every one of us lives in peace. Peace? I saw you're supposed to be getting killed. Well, Anyways. go and look anyway, at, go and talk anyway, to the Orthodox anyway, Christians anyway. of the East. Yeah, 1400 yeah, years of war. Let me finish. In peace and freedom. Here the Jews is not compelled to wear a yellow hat as a badge of shame. Yes? Okay. As in the case of Germany, where even wealth and great fortune are cursed for a Jew because he therewith arouses jealousy among the Christians and they devise all kinds of slander against him to rob him of his gold. This is a Jewish man living in, the, uh, in an Islamic state. Yeah? Yep. So one second. Here, let me get this right. I swear we're supposed to persecute you and kill you. and Which office. you did. Where, where's the Orthodox guy gone? Right. He's gone. So, he gone? so, so when he read, when he read it, he thought I need to get out of here. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. So well, let's, let's just deal with his point. He's raised the point. Yes. He's quoted selectively. I believe it. Good. He I'm quotes nine, nine, selectively. Go, we go, we he go. quotes selectively someone who gives praise to the Ottoman Empire. Let's be clear. Do you think that if he was critical of an intolerant state, that that intolerant state would allow him to make public criticism? Do you think that a, a state that has no tolerance would allow someone to criticize it? If you think I am lying, as Ali Dawa does, a man who at the very start said he doesn't know history. Well, I do know history. I invite you to look up the Janissaries, to look up the fact that Muslim jihadis would go into Christian villages. And if they could not pay the jizya tax, as payment, they would take the children from them. 
take them to the east, forcibly convert them to Islam, and I would be the first to say that that bit was un-Islamic, and then they would send those children back to wage war against their own fathers, mothers, brothers and sisters. That is also true. Ali Dawa is playing the same media trick that the media play. Look at this bit, ignore that bit, because that bit contradicts the narrative I want to make. Don't be fooled by humour. Yes, Ali Dawa is a good comedian, but that doesn't mean that what he is saying is true or accurate. Go and research it yourself. The Janissaries, the Ottoman Empire in Eastern Europe. Your turn. Finished? Yeah. Okay, for a quote. On his gun. Yes. Okay. 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 I don't believe so. No. 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 She's a right. I don't believe so. No. 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 He believes. Yeah. We don't believe in the same God. Okay. Okay, yeah, now what did he say? What did he say? Listen, I want to make something very, very simple claim here. He said, he said, he said, guys, please, please, please. Yeah. He said that uh, the, 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 the Christian, uh, the Muslims kidnapped the little kids yeah, because they didn't pay Jizya. Yeah? Okay, all right. We're going to go to Abu Yusuf, record it, uh, a report from Khalid bin Walid. No, no, sorry, Abu Ubaidah, whom Umar had put in command of the Arabs. Listen carefully, yeah? This is a Sahabi, yeah? The, the, the companions of the Prophet, he's given him. Abu Ubaidah. Who Umar had to put in his command of Arabs ordered Habib bin Maslama to return to the Emissons the, uh, the tribute which he had exacted from them with this message. So, listen carefully the Muslims were conquering lands and they were protecting the Christians and they can live in their own lands and have their own rights. They can do lies, whatever they like. Lies, now, watch carefully because the Romans were attacking certain sects of the Christians and the Muslims couldn't defend them. What did they do? Listen carefully. Listen carefully, let me finish with this, yeah? We are both bound by our mutual oaths. Now we are going to do a battle with the Romans. The Muslims are saying we're going to go and fight the Romans. If we return, yes, this tribute is ours. So the jizya that they pay, the jizya that they pay, they say this tribute is ours. But if we are defeated and do not return, we absolve our oaths. So they left Emesaf of Damascus. And the Emir of Ubaidah ordered Said bin Khultum to return to the tribute of the Damascenes, uh, likewise, to them. So he's given the money and saying the following. The reason we take this money is to protect you. Since we are fighting the Romans and we may not protect you, we have no right to take this from you because if we lose the battle, then we're gonna, Allah's going to question us. If we return victorious, we shall take it back. Meaning that if we deserve it, we're going to take it back. So now let me get this right. We impose the jizya, we kidnap your kids, apparently. Yeah? You do? Okay. You yes, did? Yes, you did? Yeah. Stop watching paranormal activity. Yeah? Wait, 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 okay. you're going to be proven yeah, wrong in a second, mate. Yeah? So, the, so the Sahaba, the companions, are given the jizya and saying, keep it. If we fight the Romans and get defeated, we have no right to this. So now, there's two points here. Either this is the teaching of Islam, or the one you're quoting, or this is correct, and what you're quoting was done, if it's true, by same goes with there is bad Muslims and bad Christians. Okay, can I reply now? Please do. Okay. okay. So notice he quoted a text that said, "If we fail to conquer your lands, did you all hear that bit? Because he slide he slided over that bit. He said, if we fail to conquer your lands, in other words, we're invading and conquering your lands." Did you all hear that? Listen, but notice, notice, notice. You are ascribing me to terrorists. Notice, I will, oh, you know what? I'm just notice, there. On camera, notice, notice. I will get solicitors notice, involved. Notice, good. He's connected do me it. to ISIS. Do it. No problem. Yeah. Good. Do it. Record this. Who recorded this? No, record do this it. Record this again. Do it. Brother, can someone so, get your phone? So, notice, phone out, phone out, phone out, phone out. notice. He's ascribed me notice. to terrorists. You are an apologist for terrorists. Listen, 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 please record this. You just did on camera try to justify Hamas and Hezbollah in their attacks of Israel. So, 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 Ali, let me reply to your argument. Let me, let me reply to your argument. That's fine. Let me reply to your argument. So, he said that it was a lie 
that the Ottoman Empire was killing Christians. So let the Orthodox Christians speak for themselves. This is from an article written in uh, John's Andianopolis. It's an academic study. The present article is based, it's written recently. Is, listen recently. Oh, recently okay. Listen, listen. <laughs> he wrote it. Listen, not I, not I. It's a good joke. It's a good joke, but it doesn't change the facts. Notice, Ali Dawa suddenly doesn't want me to talk. Notice, notice, Ali Dawa doesn't want me to talk. We Christians, what you need to understand is that we Christians celebrate the deaths of those who die for the faith. We call them martyrs. We assign days to them and then we praise them with honor because they had the courage to die. So we keep a record of those who die for the faith and why they died. Listen, the present article is based on a variety of sources and principally on the biography, biographies of 172 Greek Orthodox neo-martyrs. According to several accounts from the conquest of Constantinople to the last phase of the Greek War of Independence, the Ottoman Turks, are you listening? Yes, yes. The Ottoman Turks condemned to death, condemned to death, 11 ecumenical patriarchs condemned to death, nearly 100 bishops and several thousand priests, deacons and monks. Bompolines, 1952. Paparunis, with no date. Peratonis, 1972. Pokeville, 1824. These are his sources. These are his sources. Why are you embarrassed about the Ottoman Turks all of a sudden? Why are you embarrassed? I learn, bruv. Are you a commentator? You're not a Suddenly, suddenly he's embarrassed. He was so confident a minute ago that Ottoman Turks had not killed Christians. But now the facts are contradicting him. He wants to shut me down. It is impossible to say with certainty how many men of the cloth were forced to apostatize. Nevertheless, many preferred martyrdom to apostasy and above, and of the above thousands, several have been canonized and raised to sainthood by the Greek Orthodox Church. Boom! Hadouken! 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 That's it, that's it, Bora. We shall come back. He's excited, he happens. Okay. I want to ask you guys a simple question, yeah? You know this New Zealand shooter? If he was watching this video and he thought to himself, in an hour I'm going to carry out this mass attack, let me watch this video between Bob and Ali. Let's see what Bob has to say. Bob comes and says, Ali is connected to these ISIS, you know the guy who carried out the attack? Yeah? No, I yeah. said you're an apologist. No, 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 what's it, what's it, apologist? no, 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 no. For Look, terrorism. It's on camera. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's on camera. Is, camera. You're an apologist when for you, terrorism. When you get the letter from you the support police. Hamas and Hezbollah. Yeah, deny it. Deny it. Deny it. Deny it. Deny it. Deny it. You're on camera. Deny it. Say you don't support Hamas and Hezbollah. Why isn't he denying it? Why isn't he denying it? Did I buy in when he was talking? Why isn't he denying it? Why is he not denying it? No, 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 Hezbollah and Hamas. Terrorists, Deny it, come on. I've got, they give me a discount. Look at that, look at that. Okay, okay, yes, okay. Jokes aside. No, 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 one second. It's not funny, people are dying. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Exactly. I'm asking a simple question. If the New Zealand shooter was watching this debate between me and Bob, and Bob came and said, yeah, Ali is an apologist for the guys who carried out the attacks. Do you think that shooter's gonna say, you know what? I'm not going to carry out this attack because Muslims, they don't support terrorism. There's good Muslims and bad Muslims. Or he's going to say, you know what? They're the same. Hey, Ali, man, Which something. one would he say? Which one would he say, brothers and sisters? I'm asking you guys, what would he say? Would he stop the attacks or would he say, you know what? No, I'm going to go and carry out the attacks. We have affirmed. So you're trying clearly. to blame me for the New Zealand attacks? Are you joking? I never said that.
Yeah. That's exactly what you're trying to imply. Yeah. That's exactly what you're trying to imply. Thing, yeah? That's what you're trying to imply. Like you're you. trying to blame me the for the New Zealand attacks. I, I never said such a thing. Yeah? That's exactly okay. what you're trying to imply. Like so maybe I, I, I'll counter sue. There you go. I'll sue you for defamation. Sue Bora. Come Bora. Anyways, anyways. That's what you've just done. So we'll sue one another. So now, anyways. Where did you come from? Can you can you learn to be quiet? Can you be quiet? Can you be quiet? Can you be quiet? Are you now stuff? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you did not. Why are you being rude to everyone else? Anyways, anyways. Why are you being rude to everyone else? Why are you being rude? No, no. You've had the chance to deny that you support Hamas and Hezbollah. Do it. It's very clear. Do it. Everyone knows I could let anyone be Hamas, be ISIS. You kill innocent people, but then you said Israel is not innocent. You said it was a terrorist state. And it's on camera. Israel's resistant army, KKK, your friend who carried out the attacks in New There you go. He's trying to blame me for the New Zealand. And attack. No, 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 no. Do oh, not be oh, fooled oh, by his humor. He so might be funny, let me but under that humor let me is something talk. quite why dark. Are so, why are you so scared of me talking? Very I listen to you. He's insecure. So, no, not insecure. No, why you let me he was interrupting me you, earlier. No, 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 why weren't no, no, you no, telling no, him to show? Why were you not telling him to show when he was interrupting me? I repeat it again. Are there bad Christians? Yes. Are there bad Muslims? Yes. Are they good Christians? Yes. Are they bad uh, uh, Muslims? Muslims. Yes. Are they I'm good Muslims? You now. Yes. yes. Yes, they're good Muslims. Okay, so now we've all understood there's bad yes. and there's good. Yes. Now, Where did Muslims get when, when, one second, is your argument the following, sir? Muslims all are bad? No. Okay, good. Are there Muslims, one second, are there Muslims that are good? Of course there are. Okay. In just because it's my time, but I'm just uh, in percentage wise. What, how would you divide the good and bad Muslims? Is it 50 50? Bad Muslims are more, good Muslims are which one? Right, I'll answer that question. But quickly, please. No, no, no. I'll no. either answer it properly okay, or I'll, I'll wait long, until it's long, my turn. Long, All long, right. How long would you answer it? How long would you answer? It'll take a couple of minutes. Okay, I'll answer in your time. Okay, I'll answer in my time. Okay, I'll so now, let's make it very simple, yeah? When a Christian and a bad Christian in New Zealand, yeah, carries out their Why no? No. Why are you lampooning Christian? Yes. He wasn't a Christian. He was an ethno nationalist. He was an ethno nationalist. He said it in his manifesto that he wasn't a Christian. Look what Ali Dawa is doing. He is trying to lampoon Christian for what happened in New Zealand. That's what he's doing. Listen, you ascribe me to ISIS, which I didn't buy in, so you finish. So let me speak. This man, this man, brother, 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 this man who carried out the attack, can I say he is the same as the majority of the New Zealand people, the Prime Minister, which we salute? Is the same. One second, one second. No, they're not the same. Of course not. And you know what? Allah says in the Quran, the same, very same thing. Surah Mumtaina. Allah does not forbid you as regards to those who did not fight you in a kind of your faith. Like the guy who came and killed Listen, this crusader. Did not fight you. Let me finish. Did not fight you. Let me finish. Let me speak. I can speak. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Listen, no, no, no. Because he's okay. trying to play <laughs> games with people. Let me finish. <laughs> Allah does not. Listen, what's it? Allah can does skip not, over the did not fight not you. Fight, forbid you as regards to those who did not fight you on account of your faith and did not expel you from your homes. That you do good to them yeah. and deal justly with yeah. them. Surely Allah loves those. Allah loves those who maintain justice. Verse nine. Who is it talking about? Bad Christians. Allah forbids you only about those who fought you, killed you in the mosque. Yeah, crusader. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah. Lies. Yes. They're not Christians. From your he was not a Christian. And help others Quran. in expelling you yeah. that you have friendship with them. All Allah Allah's saying is this. Yeah, and Allah says in a different verse in the Quran. The Christians are not the same. Some of them are close to us. They're good. They worship God Almighty. They're good. And then you have hate preachers. Yeah, no. Hate preachers like him. Right. Yeah. There so you go. You see? I'm finishing. You I'm, finishing. See? I'm finishing last minute. One now who'll sue who for last defamation? Minute. One last minute. No, you're a hate preacher. I never said you, you belong to a KKK group. I said you're a hate preacher. You need to understand something. The things that you say on camera have an effect on your Yes, people. they do. So Just when you don't finish, condemn Hamas... It's my last minute. Come on then. I condemned Hamas in anyone, Israel, anyone. It's it's the killers innocent people. One yeah. minute, yeah? Did you see how I did there? One minute, okay. My point is this. You need to understand you have a responsibility. Yes. When ISIS fans come here, we tell them, we condemn them, we confront them, and I even get death threats because of them. Why? What did they call me? I'm a Murtad. What's a Murtad and a Poste? Why? 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 Ali, I'm a Ali, you've been doing finish. your last minute, bro. Come on. This minute's going on for quite a while. Seconds, yeah? 30 seconds. So, therefore, you have to prove to me something minutes, very right? clear and categorically. The Quran 
these bad Muslims, what they're doing, tell me the Quran teaches them to do that. Just the way, because I don't come and say, I know there's good, good Christians and there's bad Christians, yeah? Bad Christian, good Christians like New Zealand. They have brought hope in humanity. After I saw the Okay, Ali, all right, let me reply. So now, let me reply. Ali Dawa's argument is essentially something that no one with any reasonable mind could possibly disagree with. The idea that there are good Muslims and bad Muslims. Totally agree with him. There are. But that isn't my criticism of his position. My criticism of his position is the fact that he has ever so subtly tried to justify terrorism against Israel. He said, he said, he said, he said, notice, notice the Muslims don't want to let me speak. Notice, notice, they don't want to let me speak. You wanted me to be quiet. So, 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 allow me to speak. Right. So, guys, he said, he said a number of things in his argument. Number one, number one, number one, he said that the Ottomans didn't kill Christians because they were Christian. He said, he said, he said, he said, guys, I will have my say. I will have my say. I will have my say. I will have my say, Raj. So, Raj, Raj, one second. Don't be insulting, Ali. Don't be insulting. Don't be rude, Ali. No, he doesn't deserve it. No, he doesn't. Okay. So, so let's be clear. Ali Dawa said, he quoted a verse in the Quran saying that those that do not fight you do justice to them. But if you remember earlier in the conversation, he quoted a Muslim leader saying that if we were not successful in conquering your land, we will not do these things. So in other words, if you fight us as we invade your land, then we will do things that are bad to you because you're a bad Christian. But what kind of people would not Fight an invading force. The Ottomans invaded Christian lands in Eastern Europe. The Abbasids invaded Christian lands in Spain. And the Christians fought them. And they fought them. Notice the interruption. He wasn't interrupting while Ali was speaking. So, Ali then went on to say, Ali went then on to say that after the Christians had invaded those lands, that those that fight the Muslims are bad Christians. So in other words, any Christian who defended his family, his village and his children was a bad Christian. The only good Christian to Ali Dawa is a doormat Christian. So, let's look at an example. Let's look at an example of what the Christians did. In the metropolitan of Corinth, Zacharias, a Christian, was executed in 1684. He was accused of maintaining a correspondence with the Venetians. At his trial, Zacharias insisted that he was innocent of the accusation, but the Turkish Ottomans beat him. He was offered pardon on the condition he apostatized and accepted Islam. In other words, we're going to kill you, but if you don't, if you accept Islam, you can live. In any right-thinking mind, that is an attempt at forced conversion. He was offered pardon on the condition 
that he would apostatize to Islam. When the Metropolitan, that's a Christian way of saying bishop or Christian leader. When the Metropolitan refused, the judge condemned him to death by torture. Thousands of this mark have come to Islam. Can the source of Delahaye, page 704. There are 15 more neo-martyrs in this category, as long as you did. Stop complaining. The brother behind to go and look at the tens of thousands of Muslims who've embraced Islam in Saudi Arabia. Sorry, Christianity. Yeah. It's been a long day. All I'm saying, to be clear, no, I've got water, thank you. To be clear, no, not really. You endangered two innocent families. Don't pretend. Yeah, you're laughing about the fact you endangered two innocent families. You're laughing about the fact you endangered two innocent families. Those families needed police cars outside of their door because of you, and now you're making a joke about it. Don't be fooled by his comedy. He might be funny, but it is just a front. Only, only you and your cameraman. No. Carry on. To be clear, Ali Dawar is right. There are good Muslims and bad Muslims. But the question that I am posing to all of you is why over 1400 years of Islamic caliphates, the universal experience of Christians is one of persecution under those Islamic caliphates. Why is it that the bad Muslims, as Ali Dawa would have them, are the ones that always seem to make the rules? I'll tell you why. It's because the rules prescribe the persecution of Christians, as we heard the Orthodox brother say so. Your turn. It's nearly Monday. Okay. The, the thing is, I, what did I ask him here? Yeah? I said, can you please, because if we both agree there's good Muslims and bad Muslims, good Christians and bad Christians, then everything that you're quoting is like me coming and saying, the Christians in Africa, Lord's Resistance Army, came and killed 300 Muslims, the KKK, the Crusaders, this person, that person. You know why I don't do that? This is the difference between me and you. You know why? Because I know that battles happen between the Christians and the Jews. I mean the Christians and the Muslims, yeah? So my argument is this. Listen carefully, guys. Look at the difference between him and me. Have you heard me quote, these Christians in history did this... I didn't say these Muslims. One second, let me finish. I said Islam. Let me finish. Don't okay. misrepresent okay. me. Have you heard me Don't say... Don't misrepresent have, me. Okay, sorry. I talked about Islam. No problem, you clarified it. We've already agreed there are good have Muslims and bad Muslims. There's no argument so now, there. So now, so now, look, look. Look, he doesn't realize he's going into things that he doesn't understand. Not really. Listen to me. Guys, 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 please finish, please. I'm trying to concentrate here, yeah? Concentration levels are low today, yeah? Listen to what I'm seeing. Look at the difference between me and him, yeah? And, and look, this is an end point. If I want, I can come and say the Christians have done the Crusaders, yeah? They would slaughtering men, women, children like his happy days. But I would never ascribe that to Christianity. You know why? Because if I did, I'm responsible. You know why? Because I know there's emotional, young, naive, silly Muslims who ascribe to ISIS who will come and say, yes, they did this to our brothers and sisters. This is what happened in Iraq. We have to go and do the same to them. I'm responsible. You know why? Because just as the New Zealand shooter, this, this, he's, 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 he's claimed to be a Christian, but he's he not claim to do be a Christian. He didn't claim to be yeah? a Christian. You lied again. Perfect. He did not claim to be a Christian. Because you're lying, Let me Ali. My point. I didn't stop you. Stop you're, stop yes, you did. Yeah. Yes, time. you did. Yeah? And tell the camera to get, uh, stop getting a panic attack. Yeah? Stop lying. You're lying, Ali. Listen, now. You never claimed now, to be a Christian. Let me, let me. Do you see how it hurts them, yeah? You're but you know why I say. Lying. lying. I, My God. You know what I say? I say Christianity is free from that. Why? Because if I don't do that, I have a responsibility on my shoulders. I don't go and do that. You know why? Because I can come and see 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 23, go to the Amalekites. This is ethics of war. Kill men, women, children, babies and donkey. What did the donkey do? I can come and see that. I can see that. It is a joke. It is Good a joke. big joke. But I don't come and say, this crusading evil animal... You're lying. That That's exactly what you've done in the corner. He has used exactly Let that argument. He's used exactly that argument at the continued. corner. continued. Part two. He has used okay. exactly Let that argument finish. at the corner. You're lying. 
That's exactly what you've done here. Yeah, they will. Let me see. We'll do a cast back. I I didn't come and say he must have read this verse and never carry out these attacks. We both agree. Do you not understand Bob, how silly you're looking? Not really. We both agree, bad and good Muslims, bad yes. and good Christians. Yes. Everything that you're quoting. So the argument's not about that, is it? Let me finish. So the argument's not about Let that. Let me finish. We're not talking about that. You're Let creating me a false. Finish. Stop Let playing me the victim. Let me finish. Stop playing the victim. Let me finish. Stop playing the victim. You know why he's hurt? You no, he's playing he's the victim. He's playing the victim. Yeah, I'm the victim. Now, the point is this, if we agree on that premise, then the point is the following. Bad Muslims do bad stuff. Bad Christians do bad stuff. But your premise is based on the lie. In New Zealand, they do bad stuff, yeah? If we want a Christian, then you have no premise. I asked him, I asked him something very simple, yeah? I said to him the following, show me where in the Quran it says that you either accept Islam or we kill you. This should be so easy. When I went to Tommy Robinson, yeah? The guy, crybaby, knocks at everybody's door. But when somebody comes to confront him, starts crying, yeah? He couldn't answer it. One, show me a verse that tells us Muslims, you have to go to the Christians and the Jews, sorry. The Christians and the Jews and get the sword and say, Bob, accept Islam or we're going to kill you. Show me. Show me. Show me. I'll give you one second. No, that's talking about the Arab and Arab Peninsula. They said to go to the politics and if the politics don't convert to Islam, they have to be killed. No, 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 no. You go to the book of books to pay the Jizya tax. Right? So, so, therefore, if we both agree on that, what on earth are we debating about? May I reply? Just finish. Okay, yeah. Because you've caught me four or five times. So, oh, don't play the so, victim, so, Ali. No, no, you have. It's, 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 yeah, I know you. That's what, whenever, the Dawah team, whenever they're embarrassed about their hadiths, they always throw them away. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show him one of his own sources and he'll throw it under the bed. Look, look, you quoted a, look, look, he quoted a source. Sir, sir, I'm speaking. There were no hadiths, sir. No, no, no. Yeah, I agree with you. I actually agree with you. Alhamdulillah, we're proud of our hadiths. Including the ones that say kill people who choose to become Christians. Are you proud of that one? Are you proud of that one, Ali? Can I, can I, can I, can Are you I, proud of the one that says kill apostates? Uh, you can't see him all many times. Can I finish? Can I finish? Can I okay, yeah. he's talking about apostasy. This guy's a joke. In your book, he says kill apostasy. Does not Show it me. Oh my god. Can't see him all again. Anyway, I've been it's looking up. One, two, three. I've, 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 they let me speak. Guys, be honest. He's, he's playing the victim. But uh, what you don't know is Ali Dawa comes here every week we go, and this is how he behaves all the time. He does this to other Let people all finish. the time. His audience specifically oh, is you two. Can I finish? Oh my gosh. But Ali, Guys, finish. let me finish. What would you have done? How could you let me finish when you keep biting him? Now, now, I'm asking something. They have. Brothers, please. They have. Brother, 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 you're not helping. There are thousands of Christians brother, in helping. Saudi Arabia who have converted and they have to live in secrecy because brother, the Arab brother. government will kill brother, them if they are public about now, changing now, their faith. Now, one thing, let me finish, yeah? yeah finish. This is and this is a treaty. This dismantles it. Finished. After this, I don't think you should come to the park anymore. <laughs> treaty of Najran with the Christians. After I read this, I'm done. I don't even need to reply anymore. The lives of the people of Najran and its surrounding area, they're Christians, their religion. Listen, please, I've got talent here. Their religion, their land, their property, cattle, and those of them who are present or absent, their messengers, and their places of worship, churches, and under the prote are under the protection of who? What verse is that? Allah and his Messenger. The Treaty of Nazareth. Their present states shall neither be interfered with, nor their rights meddled with, nor their idols defunct. Can you imagine? Idols, you cannot touch them. No bishop should be removed from his office. The intention <laughs> being that no changes will next in whatever state that everyone is in shall be made. Status quo shall be maintained. This is for the Christians. What's the source of that? Can you please tell me? Can you please tell me? Sorry? What's the source? What's the source? That when they live in under the What's Islamic the rule, the they the will not touch churches, we cannot touch, you have a right to live in your own land. Yeah? That's a treaty. Now I'm asking a simple question. I'm finishing. Please show me a single verse that says you have to force the Christians and the Jews to Islam, if not kill them. If you don't, you're a liar. Okay, so let me, let me reply to that argument. Let me reply to that argument. Yeah. Let's be, let me reply to that argument. Yeah. Let me reply to that argument. Because Ali Dawah yeah. is creating a false dichotomy. Yeah. 
He's creating a straw man. The cameraman, look, the He's cameraman. He's creating a straw man. <laughs> notice, notice he's interrupting. Yeah. So, Ali Dawa is creating a false dichotomy. He's trying to say that I need to show him where the Quran says kill people if they don't become Muslim. That is not my argument. That is not my argument. That is his straw man. Wait one second. Wait one second. Let me quote to him a different treaty. One second. One second, bro. Let me quote to him a different treaty. The Pact of Umar, which says this. Do not initiate the Salam to the Jews and Christians. This is Ibn Kathir, a big scholar, a big scholar of Islam. And if you meet, and if you meet any of them in a road, force them to the nearest Ali. This is why the leader of the faithful, Umar bin al Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, which is what he's just said. Listen to the next bit. Demanded. Just bear in mind his praise for this man. Demanded his well-known conditions be met by the Ottoman, sorry, by the Christians. These conditions that ensured their continued humiliation, Whoa. degradation, Whoa. and disgrace. Perfect. Oh, no way. No. Ooh. Ali Dawa. Ali Dawa is one second. One second. One second. We want to listen to Ali Dawa is absolutely right to say there are good Muslims and good and bad Muslims. He's right. I totally agree. Yes. But what we disagree about is the definition of a good Muslim and a bad one. Because a good Muslim ignores Sharia law, ignores the Prophet, and ignores the teachings of Islam. And a bad one applies it. Perfect. And that means the degradation, humiliation, and persecution of Christians. Now, he read from the Pact of Najran. Do you all remember that the Pact of Najran said that the bishops should not be removed from their offices? Well, it would seem, ladies and gentlemen, that that message never got through because they regularly interfered with the appointments of bishops and they would kill bishops who were not compliant enough to Islamic rule as we saw with the example of the Metropolitan of Corinth. Now despite the fact that Ali has tried to libel me as a hate preacher, all I am speaking about is the experience that we Christians have had under Islamic rule. Can I just say something? That is fair, As a Christian, that is legitimate, and that is just. To your Christian one second, one second, one second, one second, one second. Notice, notice, one second. It is fair, it is fair. In yeah, I know it, so I it, is, he supports, it is fair, he supports what they did. it is fair that as Christians we can speak about our own history and about our own experiences of Islamic rule. That is not hate speech, that is just knowing what happened in history. If Ali Dawa finds that uncomfortable, Perhaps it's time he finds a better God. Because Christians were persecuted not by good Muslims. They were persecuted by the bad Muslims inspired by the Hadiths and by the Quran. And Christianity, by comparison, offers something different. It says that every man, that's all of you here, and even Ali Dawa 
has a dignity given to him by God, that he is made in the image of God, and that image, that image is made and gives him dignity apart from his race, apart from his class, apart from his religion. It belongs to him because he is a human being, which means that if I honour the image of God in every human that I meet, then I also honour it in Ali Dawa. By contrast, Islam has no such equivalent concept, which is why in Islam Christians can be humiliated. Remember, he praised the Muslim ruler. He praised him who commanded that Christians should be humiliated, degraded and persecuted. He praised him. Don't be fooled by the humour. Now, he said he didn't want to reply, but he obviously does. There you go. Okay, so, like I said before, did, it was, was, were you guys listening? What was my last sentence to him? Can you produce a single verse in the Quran, in the Hadith, straw in man. the Islamic literature? Straw man. Yeah? Call it a straw, it is a, a strawberry, a, a blueberry, a raspberry, whichever my berry you like. That's not my critique. Did I stop him when he was talking? No, fair enough, go on. Okay, now, I asked him a simple question. This is the same question I asked Tommy Robinson when he started crying. You claim there's 113 verses in the Quran that says, kill the infidel wherever you find it. Okay, good. Can you show me a single verse in the Quran, the Hadith, the entire Islamic literature that says, you go to the Christian religion and say, accept Islam or we will kill you. You, did he bring the verse? No, have I didn't, because that's not my argument. Have you brothers lost your tongue? It's not my argument. Brothers, did he bring the verse? It's not my argument. Oh. Why would I bring an argument? Why would I bring a verse to something that's did not I my stop argument? You when he was talking? It's not my argument. Did I stop it's you control, was man. Let me talk. You right. just and let him, let him hang man. himself. You better upload this video. Let let him him hang himself. Going off you better upload like this, yeah? Yeah? Four, uh, <laughs> Now, now. Stay on topic. Okay. If he didn't bring that verse, if you came and said to me, Ali, you claim to know how a Ferrari works. Show me this. If I don't, I'm a liar. You did not bring the single verse. What that shows is you're in the same category as Tommy Robinson, a hate preacher. Now, he quoted Umar ibn Khattab, and Umar ibn Khattab said, whenever you see the Jews, it's not about the Christians, the Jews, if they're walking, like, uh, push them to the wall. <laughs> now, when you hear this, and he goes, I praise them. Of course, I'm going to praise Umar ibn Khattab. Why? Which Jews are we talking Apologies about here? Islamization. Which Jews are we talking about here? Are you talking about the Jews who broke the treaty and tried to kill the Prophet in three attempts, assassinating him? And you're telling me, let me get this right. They tried oh, to assassinate the Prophet. They break the treaty. Yeah? They commit treason. They take the, uh, uh, the side of the pagans. Apologies for Islamization. And, and what's he upset about? Umar ibn Khattab said, when you're walking past the Jew, this evil Jew, push him towards the wall. Can you imagine this? Guys, imagine this, yeah? Go back to that if somebody back came to, to kill your family members, and try to assassinate you three times, and no, I no, said no, to no, you, the, when you see him, barge him. No, the pact of Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Someone's gonna come and try to kill your family, and in return, uh, barge him. And he thinks, he thinks, oh, I made such a sick point. Fam, you're making points with no context. That's why you're getting dismantled. Bang, 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 you're getting... On the floor. And you're saying now, this now, is the reason now. 11. Oh, you're the, back now. And you're oh. saying this is the Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. He's just hung himself, bro. He's just hung himself. Let me finish. He's just hung himself. Let me finish. Very simple and clear. You did not bring a single verse. You can't bring it because it doesn't exist. You accept it as bad Muslims and good Muslims. Bad Christians and good Christians, yeah? Then that's my argument. Good Christians do good stuff. Bad Christians do New Zealand. But good Muslims do good stuff, bad Muslims do run the bridge. Simple as it. I don't even need to carry on. Go to Surah Mumtahina, verse 8. Done. Finish. Go to Surah. No, I'm finished. Yeah. No problem. Go to Surah Toba, verse 13. Allah says in the Quran, indeed, it was them who attacked you first. Go to Surah Buruj, verse 7. Allah says, we saw what they were doing with the believers. They, and listen, this, doesn't New Zealand come into your mind? Allah says in Surah Buruj, we Apologies saw what they were doing with the believers. They killed them for no other reason but they said, La ilaha illallah. 
So, can I reply, Ali? Can I finished. reply? So, notice Ali said, notice Ali said, he said that the bit about barging people into the road was about Jews. That's what he said, and particular Jews who tried to kill Mohammed. Let's actually read it again, because he just lied to you. This is what it says. Do not initiate the Salam to the Jews and Christians. And if you meet any of them, i.e. Jews and Christians, in the road, force them to the narrowest way. What did the Christians do? So, he lied. What did the Christians do? Nothing. In other words, what he's saying is, if you fight, if you fight, Muslim Islamist attempts to conquer your land. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is why we should persecute you. Can I reply to that? But listen, the man that he praised, remember, yeah. Umar bin al Khattab. There you go, Allah just Allah on cue. Right? <laughs> this is what he demanded. He demanded this that Christians should be humiliated. Degraded ones, and yes. disgraced. The bad ones, yes. Let's look at what that means. Okay? We made a condition on ourselves that we will neither erect in our areas a monastery, church, or a sanctuary for a monk, nor restore any place of worship that needs restoration so Christians under Muslim rule couldn't even repair the their building. The bad ones. <laughs> no, yeah. he's inserting the bad right. ones. He's inserting the bad ones. But the if fact of the matter that, is, that. the pack just says Christians. That's what it says. Let's read some more. Let's read some more. Restoration. For the purpose of enmity against Muslims, we will not prevent any Muslim from resting in our churches, whether they come by day or night. So in other words, if a Muslim was to come to a church, the Christian had to get up and open the door. Do you think a Christian had the same right to demand that the imam from the mosque? No way. No way. Perfect. <laughs> furthermore, furthermore, our houses of worship for wayfarers passers by, those Muslims who come as guests will enjoy boarding and food for three days. So he's telling Christians that they have to host Muslims. Notice the lack of a reciprocal law. More so, more so, more so, we will not allow a spy against Muslims into our churches, homes, or hide deceit or betrayal against Muslims. We will not teach our children the Quran, public, publicize, or practice shirk. Now that's important because Christians believe in one God, but Muslims, Muslims falsely accuse us of shirk the belief in three gods. So in other words, he's saying that we Christians can't have any public displays of our faith in a Muslim ruled area. We will not. This is from Ibn Kathir. Listen, this is Ibn Kathir. This is why Christians were persecuted in every Islamic caliphate from the time of Muhammad to ISIS and every caliphate in between. 1400 years. No, I'm still reading. We will not imitate their clothing, i.e. Christians could not dress as Muslims. No, Muslims don't dress as Christians. What are you talking about? We will not dress, we will not imitate their clothing. Caps, turbans, sandals, hairstyles, speech, nicknames, titles, or ride on saddles, hang swords on the shoulders. So a Christian, in a time when everyone rode on a saddle, Christians had to ride bareback. That's like me saying 
that Muslims can't drive cars, they can only use bicycles. Perfect. How is that not Christophobia? Would you give ISIS a car? This is a man. This is a man. This is a man. The praises the person that wrote these rules. He praises him. That's who we're talking to. What would Muslims say? Not yet. Not yet. I mean, that, that, that's just terrible. That's just terrible. That's just terrible. We will not yet. No, listen. I finished in two minutes. Let me speak. No. He's going for five minutes. No, no. I'm going to. Okay. I'm just showing. To say. Right, I'll finish up then. Uh, one more example. I'll finish up and then Ali can reply. So, last point. Last example of what Muslims have applied to their faith. Yeah? So, despite Ali Dawa saying he had no reason to reply, that the argument was sealed. He's embarrassed by his text and that's why he's still here trying to legitimize the persecution of Christians. Christians will have the front of their hair cut, not wear, sorry, wear customary clothes wherever we are. They will wear belts around their waist and refrain from erecting crosses on the outside of our churches, which is our custom as Christians. So we couldn't even have our customs. And we had to wear belts to distinguish us as Christians so everyone could recognize us as Christians. Like the Nazis made the Jews wear stars so everyone could see that they were Jews. Now, be clear. When are you going to finish? Soon. Be clear. Last minute, last minute. Alhamdulillah. Last minute. To be clear, guys, Ali Dawa is right. There are good Muslims and bad Muslims. But my criticism, my criticism of Islam is a criticism of the ideology, not of Muslims as a whole. Did you get that? And I am not arguing that Islam teaches if you don't convert to Islam, we'll kill you. That's not my argument. So him demanding proof to an argument I've not made is a straw man. My argument is that Islam has led to the persecution of 1400 years because of the teachings that I have just read out to you from a man he closed. praised. Case closed. No, it isn't. It's rising. Guys, please, 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 please. Yeah, let's watch that. It corresponds to the same rate at which the human race is growing. Get your facts right. You're scared me when you do that. Okay. Guys, guys, I want you guys to listen very carefully, yeah? Please, please, listen very carefully. I repeated it before I repeat it again, yeah? He's quoting Umar ibn Khattab, yeah? The man you praised. Radiallahu an. May Allah be pleased with him. How could Allah not be pleased with someone like him? Yeah? Justice, justice. Now, I'm going to ask you guys a very simple question. Please engage with me, yeah? Okay, here, brother. Please, look here. <laughs> I wonder why I picked the man most likely to agree with him. <laughs> okay, now, now. If I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. Allah says in the Quran, Speak the truth, even if it's against yourself. If I see Muhammad Hijab doing something wrong to Bob, I will say, Hijab, you're my brother, I love you, but you're wrong. This is what a religion teaches <laughs> If I came... He's a great showman, isn't he? If I came He's and persecuted showman. your mom, I killed your sister, I tried to assassinate you three times. And then my dad said, when you walk past... What's your name? Bilal, Bilal, can I be, come stand here for a second? My dad said, when you walk past Bilal, barge him. 
Is what I'm doing wrong bad or good? Bad. 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 It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. bad. After he's cute, my mum, my sister, my margin is wrong. Are you mad? Oh, that's childish. Are you mad? Oh, it's generic. Because if Ali Dalai Lama says Muslims, they'll say he's classifying. They never made it specific. They never made it specific. Show me the part where they made it specific. Guys, guys. Show me the part where they made it Where was it specific? Where was it specific? Brothers, if I, if I trust this guy, he would do an uppercut. Let alone kill his family. The, do you know what the Prophet of and his companions went through? Yes, forget self-defense, budge. Somebody that kills your mom and your dad, are you, would you budge him or would you want revenge? So where does it say specifically? Where does it differentiate between the two? Okay. Where does it differentiate so, between so the two? So one second. It doesn't. Surah, Surah Mumtahina. No, no. Show us where the pack differentiates. The pack doesn't say that. Why is it when I talk you guys one, two, three, four, five? You, you all heckle me. All the Muslims in the cloud heckle me. Do you want to talk? Do you want? I didn't say nothing. He's your guy there. He's your guy there. He's your guy there. He's your guy there. He's your guy Now, guys, guys, guys. Wallahi. Look at this. Your hello, hello, hello. He's trying to say, no, look how light it's not that deep. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. It's thank you. Thank you. It is just thank you. It's nonsense. Thank you. Look at because this is an apologist guys, guys. argument. Yes or no? He's Charles. trying to ignore the I'm fact Why are they not the, Ottomans, talk, the Ottomans did this to Why are you not letting me talk? Yeah. You've had your time. Why are you not Let letting me talk? talk? I don't understand. I listened to you for five minutes, my ears are hurting. Now, listen to this guy. Listen to this, yeah? Listen to this, yeah? Look at Allah. Look at this, yeah? I was looking for this bird and it popped out, yeah? Umar ibn Khattab. The same Umar ibn Khattab that he's talking about, yeah? He hated the Jews. Kill them! Watch this. A man was passing along the house when he saw an old. You're gonna need your water. Don't put it away. Blind man begging. Umar touched the old man and asked him whether he was a Christian or a Jew. Are you listening, paper boy? You got a lot of paper to give out today. The man said that he was. The man he said he was Jewish. What did Umar ibn Khattab do? Push him, kick him, kill him? The old blind man further said that he begged in the day so he could provide himself the daily needs. For his food and pay the jizya. So, what was that? Jizya is something. Jizya is something. That is something that is you repeat, can you repeat? If you don't pay the jizya, what happens? Yeah, yeah. yeah what happens he if you don't pay the jizya? So he could provide himself the daily needs for his what food and pay What happens if you don't pay the jizya? Yeah. To pay the jizya. The, the following verse you're gonna find out. Just make sure you stay here. Pay the jizya because we have the war the apostate. What's this now? You're not ashamed. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, the jizya is a tag on non-believers, and you're not ashamed to Can say. I finish? Can I finish? Just imagine if we did that here. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Yeah. This is Umar ibn Khattab. The same Umar ibn Khattab that he said, you know, boogeyman. To which of the people of the book do you belong to? He said, I am a Jew. Responded the blind man. Umar took him by the hand. Oh damn! The king's gonna kill him. <laughs> Led him to his own house. Oh, it's gonna happen in his own house. He's gonna die in his own house. Gave him something. Oh no, this was the sword. Food. Food. Oh. Okay, Poison. What's it? Oh, Poison. It can be. It can be. Okay. And then sent him to the keeper of the treasury with this message. Listen carefully. After this, it's night night, Baba. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. We call it Janaza. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Sent to the keeper of the treasure, treasure with this message. See to this man and his life, for we have not done right if we devour their youth and neglect their old age. The religious taxes for the poor and the needy. The poor are the Muslims. You see how he's sniffing? Yeah, you're going to sniff him out, yeah? Keep going. The Keep poor going. are the Muslims. It's great comedy, but okay. it doesn't make, it's not an argument. This man is one of the needy of the people of the book, Christians and Jews. He freed the man from the obligation to pay jizya, because jizya is only paid for the fighting yeah, men yeah, and women. Yeah. And I'm not finished. That's, that's, this is that's the beginning. Lie. That's a lie, bro. That's, that's a lie. lie. It's a lie, yeah? Kitab al, -Kharaj, Kitab al Kharaj by Abu Yusuf Yaqub, page 71. You see how I call like Zaki Naik as well? Okay, now, now, now. Now, I want to say something very simple and very clear, yeah? I asked him a simple verse. Give me a verse where it says, 
Christians and Jews. You don't accept Islam, we're going to slaughter you. Not my argument. No, 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 no. no. One second. No, I never said that. I never said that. Straw man again. Straw man. I will be He kept the same thing. It's a panic attack. No, we're talking about the subjugation of the Christians, not killing them. We're not panicking. We're not panicking. We're talking about the subjugation. We're not panicking. We just want to make sure that everyone understands he's making a straw man. That's all we're doing. From a rabbi who lived in the Islamic State, who was paying jizya, he's saying, "I have not lived anywhere else." That Could he have said anything different? One second. Could he have private. said anything different? It hurts different. you, fam. It hurts you. It's no, it doesn't. You. Ali Dawa is poking you. Not really. You don't like it. Listen, listen. Like so that. therefore, very simple, yeah. The Muslims, the Prophet, peace be upon him and his companions, have been persecuted for 13 years. No, After true. that. See? No, 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 one second. Did you see why you said that? This is what the New Zealand This was a did. man. This, this is was why a, the New Zealand Muhammad was a man who attacked the Meccan. Hadouken! That's what happened. Exactly, exactly. He attacked the exactly. culture. He attacked their beliefs. No, those, he attacked them. No, listen, he's, he's, when he fled to Medina, he attacked the Meccan. No, he cut me, he cut me again, yeah? Look at this. I replied to him, Surah Hajj verse 39. Can a Christian go to Mecca? No, one second, one second. Ali. No, he can't. And your point is? Playboy, boy, please, man. Subjugation. Playboy, not your day to day. Show you go. Imagine if we said Muslims couldn't come to London. Exactly. Would you be accept that? Why are they not letting me talk? You see? Yeah, you can raise the level. I listened to you for 10 minutes. You're a yellow card. Okay, now, now. Surah Hajj, verse 39 and 40, was revealed after 13 years of persecution by the Meccans. And, and what does he say? Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's carefully, yeah? <laughs> permission, <laughs> permission to fight has been given to those who are being fought because they were wrong, and indeed Allah is competent to give them victory. Abdullah ibn Abbas added, "When Allah revealed this, leave, leave is given to those against whom war is made because of they have been wrong." Abu Bakr said, "This means that now we can defend ourselves after 13 years." after persecution not only that surah tabuk the christian roman army is coming to invade the arabian peninsula you have the jews they didn't so Sahib, uh, go to bukhari you're talking go to bukhari right? yes the only rubbish is coming out your mouth yes. you're talking Russia. rubbish bro. Yeah? now now go to bukhari do your camera umar ibn khattab comes one day his doors be knocked and he runs down why are you stopping me from because talking you're because you're you know what we're talking about you've lost me yeah i've lost your lost you have to listen may allah die for your lost tell me what you have to listen to sir you have to listen to sir it's all right 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 it's so, so, now, now, go on, Ali, back it up. Very simple, yeah? Okay, you could not bring the verse. That is exactly. I said Muhammad. I don't know sympathy for that. Man. That is exactly. That is exactly what the New Zealand shooter did. He said, who gives the these Muslims? Trying to blame us for the New Zealand yeah? killing. And Brothers and sisters, very simple, very clear. Yeah? You can never ever bring a verse that says we are forced to compose by compulsion. You you have to come and, and embrace that Islam. That was never my argument. You know, you know, there's only one man again. Let me tell you something. Man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep help. saying the same thing. It's not the I'm gonna help you. You know how I'm gonna help you? Surah Baqarah not verse 256. I've never yeah? made that argument. That's not the argument I've just Let's spent the last hour this. making. Look, watch this now, guys. We're gonna You're go arguing through. against yourself, Ali. I've we're never made that argument. Ali Dawa is arguing but against himself about 10 times because he doesn't point. want to deal with my argument. No problem. He doesn't want to deal with my argument, so he's making up his own. Just, just, just well, make come sure. On, we gave you just time. make sure this. Well, I told him that's not his point. Just make sure. The same thing. Just make sure this video comes out. That's all I want. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> else. <laughs> it will definitely come, definitely come out. Definitely We're happy. Like, We're happy. Guys, guys, <laughs> make sure this guy. What would you like the title to be? Now, Surah Baqarah. Yeah. There is no compulsion in faith. The correct way is to come. He's hung himself. There is no compulsion in faith. Do you know what this talking? I'm going to help you guys here. Yeah, this is take it from me. Oh, what no. the Muslims can do is the following: we can force you to put your arms down, uh, your, the, the guns that you're carrying. Go to Surah Baqarah 256 and check the Tafsir Ibn Kathir. As they invade second, our lands. One second. You know what it says? You are not allowed to force anyone to accept Islam. No one but said you can that. 
but you can force Never made them that argument. to put their arms down. No, the As they invade your lands. As they invade your lands. You're so hurt by my words. It's mad. They no, no, I'm just Nagas making sure guys, people guys, know the guys, spin that you're guys, putting on this. Guys, Perfect. Surah Muhaina, verse 8, not abrogated, I need to prove it. Kul hatu murhaina kum in kuntum sadiqin. If you truly bring it. Do you want to wrap up? I'm finished. Allah does not forbid you from being just and kind to those who did not fight you on account of your faith. Allah only forbids forbids you. Allah encourages you to fight those you know the New Zealand attacker? Fight you. If I was in the fight mosque you. and I had a gun, so everyone in North back. Africa yeah. was fighting Nine the Muslims. Nine. So, right, notice Ali Dawa is running away. <laughs> notice he's running away. Hey, running oh, away. Hey. So, let me reply. All right. Ali, it's all right. Let me reply to Ali we'll Dawa's argument. We'll just have to. Let me reply to Ali Dawa's argument. Let me, let me reply to Ali Dawa's argument. Because the reason why he didn't want to stay for the answer and the response is because he knows that he's going to be contradicted. Pablo Escobar was the kind of man that would go down the street and see someone who is poor. He would get out of the car and then he would build them a house. A bit like Ibn Kathir saw the blind Jew and did something kind. But Pablo Escobar was also the kind of man that would walk down the street and if you looked at him the wrong way, he'd have your family shot dead. True. Just because you do something kind doesn't mean that you are. Just because Ibn Kathir did something kind doesn't mean that he didn't stand for something reprehensible. He creates a straw man argument. Ali Dawa kept saying, show me the verse where it says become Muslim or we'll kill you. At no point in the last hour did I ever make that argument. Ali Dawa was so beat by my argument that he had to run away and argue with himself about a position that I'd never made. Chapter 9, One verse second. 29, fight One those second. who don't believe in Allah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, right? <laughs> However, all of these nice things that Ali Dawa quoted. It seems that Muslims, for whatever reason, down through 1400 years of history, never got the memo. Because Muslims, caliphates, have persecuted Christians for 1400 years. So, Ali Dawa may be able to quote something nice, but for whatever reason, Muslim caliphs did not seem to think that that should apply to them. Now, by comparison, we Christians offer a different alternative. We offer a belief that every man is made in the image of God, which means that that killing of those Muslims in New Zealand was a crime, a hateful crime. But let's be honest, it was motivated by racism. It was not motivated by Christianity as Ali Dawa disingenuously tried to imply. Perfect. Shame, shame on him. For one hour, Ali Dawa tried to imply that that man was a Christian when he openly identified as something else, as a, as a nationalist, an ethno-nationalist. I mean, one a neo-pagan, one second bro, one second, one second. Christians were butchered in Nigeria on the 11th of March. 120 Nigerian Christians were both butchered by Fulani Muslims and by Boko Haram. Two different Muslim groups, both killed Christians and you heard nothing about it. Why is it wrong for me to speak up for my brothers and sisters and to speak against an ideology that would make me a second-class citizen? Why is it wrong for me to speak against an ideology that would lead to my persecution as a Christian? He said, he said, he said, 
that Muslims are commanded to fight those who fight them. But he glossed over the fact that Muslims are invading the lands of others historically. So in other words, it's your fault for fighting us as we invade your land. <laughs> Ali Dawa condemned ISIS, but he praised the Ottoman Caliphate. Go and look up what the Ottoman Caliphate did to the Christians in Eastern Europe. And ask yourself, was it any different to ISIS? So why was it wrong when ISIS does it in Israel Syria and ISIS. Iraq? Israel created Al Qaeda. Israel We're not interested in your anti-Semitism. We're not interested in your anti-Semitism. One second, no one second. I'm going to finish the point. He's no, he's not. He's an anti-Semite. He's an anti-Semite. Blaming Jews, blaming Jews in Israel for the creation of ISIS is anti-Semitism. He's an anti-Semite. So, one second, one second. Again, I am going to finish my point. I'm going to, I'm going to finish my point. Exposing this is anti-Semitism. I'm going to finish my point. I urge you, I urge you, I urge you to go and investigate what happened to the Christians under the Ottoman Empire and compare it to the behaviour of ISIS and see if those behaviours are different or the same. And if you see a correlation between the two, Remember that Ali Dawa praised the Ottomans. Remember that. Every Islamic caliphate has led to the persecution of Christians. And it is high time that we Christians spoke up about that fact. It's high time that Christians spoke about our own history and our own experience of history and challenged the narrative that is pushed by the likes of Ali Dalla because it is a lie and there is nothing wrong with Christians standing up to an ideology that would persecute us just like it would never be wrong for the black community to stand up against white supremacism because it would lead to their persecution. If it's not wrong to stand against injustice, it isn't wrong to stand against Islamic supremacism. Ali Dawa might be funny, but he is apologizing. He is apologizing for the persecution of Christians and trying to rationalize it. And anyone who stands up to him, he wants to deride, as we heard as a hate preacher. And that's because in Ali Dawa's eyes, notice I said Ali Dawa, not all Muslims. In Ali Dawa's eyes, the only good Christian is a doormat that won't do anything to stop an aggressive form of Islam. He wants us to be dimmies. And I say, that is not the way of the Christian. We're not called to be dimmies. We're called to be more than conquerors. That's what we're called to be. We're called to be followers of the Christ. That's what we're called to be. And Christ does not call us to be dimmies. The Quran calls us to be dimmies. We should simply refuse the invitation. And in Henry Dallow's eyes, that means resisting Islamization. So that means by his logic, by the argument he marshaled, it is right to fight you. Don't be fooled by his comedy. He's not a comedian. He represents something very dark indeed. Bro, I've got to go, but go on, make your point. 
I've got to go. No, I wanted to give the example of the Janissaries. Go, give it, please. The Janissaries give it. were slave soldiers that shout were taken. Shout it to, shout it to those people at the back. Uh, yeah. You know, the Janissaries were slave soldiers that were taken from the boys of the Christian countries that that the Turkish Empire raided with the Tatars. You know, with the Crimean Tatars, they raided them. They took the, the young boys and they turned them into soldiers. Incredibly uh, strong and incredibly zealous soldiers that would protect okay, the Sultan at all okay. costs. Can I give you more modern give version it. of the Janissaries? We. One of the things I was upsetting with the New Zealand Sea is that in between the last week, 280 Christians, 30 Chadian soldiers were killed yesterday by Boko Haram and the Fulani militants. Now what they do is that they kidnap 500 children as well, which people are not aware of. And some of these children they're forced to kill their own parents and they've become a new modern jihadist movement or whatever. So, the so, so they're doing, so no one's interested hold, in a racist. No, no, you're an anti-Semite, I don't want to talk with you. You're an anti-Semite. I don't want to talk about We're trying to cover modern We're talking about the person. You're not talking about the elephant in the room. Don't kidnap this. We're Let's talking about change. something much more serious yes. than it your ain't. silly conspiracy theory. So you talk your about silly conspiracy theory. You're a paid liar. You're a paid liar. Okay. You talk to the camera. I'm going to stand here. No, you talk to you the talked about the Janissaries that this existed quite a number of centuries ago. Uh -huh. But I'm talking about something that's existed in the last few weeks. That children are being kidnapped to be making a new wing of jihad, jihadi that they Let me their ask parents. you to a question, yes. because you're speaking about something that happened century ago, centuries ago under the Ottoman Empire by Muslims centuries ago, and, it wasn't and you're case. speaking about something that is happening in Nigeria whilst we're all talking about it. Yes. We're talking about why do you think, one second, why do you, don't give him attention, why do you think, why, why do you think, why do you think, that, what, what do you think unites Nigerian Fulani and Boko Haram to Ottoman Turks? Bearing in mind the different ethnicities, they time. lived in different times and they were doing operating in completely different theatres. They're following the culture of jihad, That's of dangerous. modern jihad. That That's is what dangerous. they're following. They're living the life of the prophet. But Israel did 9 11. You're living in a lie. You're all not, fucking liars. We're, 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 <laughs> not, we're not talking about 9 Sometimes when we're we have talking an about it all comes to a lie. We're the talking about things that you're talking can about. We're talking we're about, about the kidnap no. of it's Christian 500 children. About. Last week, and where kidnapped. was the media coverage? There was no media. 75 the children outrage? escaped. Only 75 children escaped because, fortunately, one of the people that was kidnapped took a weapon off one of the jihadist assailants and killed his kidnappers. And 75 Where'd children escaped out of 500. Sun, Just go and Google it, please. Uh, we're not here to be interrupted with unintelligent conversation about no, something as serious. No 280 no people are, being, are in the grave, so it's better we focus on the lives. I'm not into the Illuminati talk, that is nonsense. We need to talk about things that we can verify with facts on the media. So 500 children were kidnapped, but they didn't make the news. Um, we are all sad that 51 people were murdered in a mosque. That is wrong. So it doesn't matter what anybody thinks. To kill people that are innocent going to prayer is wrong. But we must condemn any kind of killing. And we cannot, as human beings, be happy that 500 children are kidnapped by jihadis, Fulani jihadis. So where is the media? Why don't the um, leaders, uh, yes, why don't the leaders in the Western world also walk in solidarity? We've seen the New Zealand minister wearing a hijab to show in solidarity with the Muslims. So where's, where's the conversation about the Christophobia? Oh, we don't hear where, where's, this. Where's the, where is the discussion in our political narrative about the prejudice that is directed towards Christians on a daily basis? Because, let me tell you, we have a lot of, of, um, um, of, of people complaining about Islamophobia. But who's what talking about, yeah. Well, what about the Christian? Wait, what, what about when they tried to kill Nisar? The Christian who converted from Islam and they tried to kill him in, in Bradford. Where was the day's worth of lectures about Christophobia and prejudice aimed towards Christians? Nothing. Nothing. So here, to all of you who are Christians, to you, to you, paper boy, to you, brother, and to you who's wearing the cross, if you're a Christian, if you're a Christian, the media are trying to control a narrative. We Christians need to talk about our own narrative. 
to the media and to anyone else who will listen. Why do you think the media is controlling the narrative to that extent, to don't throw them Christianity? Because they're afraid. They are afraid that if they talk about the persecution of Christians in the Islamic world, that what will happen is that there'll be some kind of backlash, that it'll create a, a, a kind of war, a, a, a dichotomy, a tension. So they don't want to inflame those tensions. But what they're doing, and my criticism of the media is this, that what they are doing by turning a blind eye rather than having the balls to challenge it, is that they're allowing it to continue. They need to shine a spotlight on it for it to stop. We have to talk about it for it to stop. Can I, can I just make... Yes, I'd like to mention um, a few of the incidences. I did mention the 500 children that were kidnapped and 75 escaped. But um, we need to look at what happened to a, a Catholic church was attacked by three suicide bombers. Uh, just a few days after the incident in New Zealand. Where was that? Um, in northern Nigeria. The, the attacks have happened in Chad, in northern Nigeria. Um, yes. There was also uh, an attack against Christians in Pakistan. Uh, there was an attack against Coptic Christians in um, Egypt. Egypt. Egypt yeah. uh, three were shot dead. So we look at all these incidences and nobody has made any mention to them. But we have to look at when 180 homes are destroyed, and 280 people killed, and it doesn't make mention to the news. What's that saying about the media? What is that saying about the media? We're not asking for special, um, how would I say, anything special in regards to Christianity, but we should remember that these are innocent people that are suffering injustice. And we as a Christian community, we are told to expect persecution. Our Bible clearly says this. Yeah. But there is persecution is and there the is ethnic cleansing. This guy, don't give him any yes, I, I really, keep going, keep going, yeah. keep going. Keep going. there is persecution, but there is a systematic eradication of Christians in, a re, in the region that Muslims are living in. This is a near genocide kind of uh, And yet it's system. got no media coverage. And it's getting no media coverage. We saw this in Iraq that there used to be 1.5 million Christians. They're down to 250,000. We've seen this in Syria. The Christians are being driven out of the lands. And if we talk about it, we're being Islamophobic. But all we're doing is Christian. Yes, we're, being, we're just being Christian. Yeah, we're being Christian. We're not taking the, the battle. Christian the Christian, because the Christian Why are you faith. About that? Because the Christian faith. Because the Christian faith. Don't don't give him fuel. He's an anti-Semite. He's here to push some ridiculous brother, brother, brother. He's just here to push some ridiculous conspiracy theory about the Jewish people. You're an idiot, mate. You're a total buffoon. Now, but the fact is, but the fact is. As Christians, as Christians, as Christians, we have a moral obligation to speak up for and to stand up for our brothers and sisters. We have an obligation to stand in solidarity with our brothers and sisters wherever they are in the world. That means standing with Nisar when he, they, they attempted to kill him in Bradford. It means standing with the Nigerians when they tried to kill them in North Nigeria. It means standing with Christians when they tried to kill them in Egypt. And it means standing with Christians when they tried to kill them in Pakistan. And we need to become activists. He works for them. The Christians of the West, the Christians of the West, leave him bro. The Christians of the West have been pacified by a liberal narrative. We have become the doormats of Western society. We need to become activists because we, if we don't become activists, we have failed in our discipleship. Being a disciple means becoming an activist. And if we don't become activists, then the vacuum created by liberal secularism will be filled by something other than the church. Bob, can I just address something? You talked about liberal secularism. Now, we've just seen this guy talking a lot of unnecessary He's deranged me. No, he is deranged, but he's, he is part of the problem now, that we live in a society that people voice an opinion and they have not looked at there are people being killed. There are Christians being persecuted. Not once in the statement has Bob said, oh, let's retaliate or anything. Thank you. He has not, 
try to encourage any anger or hate. We are not. No one here has said anything against the Islam, in the Muslims. That is not our point. We are saying that we should look at this injustice and see how we can bring it to an end. Yes, that is what we're asking for. So if it takes community leaders or politicians to talk with the leaders in the Islamic world to curtail the movement of these groups that are causing this violence. They can be spoken with. They have a spokesperson somewhere that but can be reached. But, but the thing is, the thing is, like what happened with ISIS, like what happened with ISIS, the, the ISIS is an example where you couldn't negotiate because the person that would sit across from the table with you would have no rational demand. Their demand would be total submission. And the West intervened. So where it is necessary to stop groups like Boko Haram, then we should, as Christians, call for intervention that is sufficient to stop the problem. Can I support your statement on the intervention? No, no, if you look at the Global Terror Terrorism Index, the first, um, Boko Haram are actually considered the number one um, biggest terrorist organization and the Fulani militants are number four in the Global Terrorism Index. So if they are actually more um, dangerous than ISIS, how come the West does not intervene yeah. to get rid of Boko Haram as well? Why is it yes. they intervene? We, I'll tell you what, because we remember when ISIS cleared out Mosul of all of its Christians, the West did nothing. Now, the West intervened when it was made clear that the Islamists were going to wipe out the Yazidis. And that's good. I applaud that. I'm happy they did. But what that tells me is that the Christians of Mosul were not worth intervening for. So the Yazidis are worth intervening for, but the Christians aren't. Christians, stop looking to the liberal secular state as if it's going to come to your aid. It's not. Christians, you have to become activists and stand up for your own community. You have to be activists and you have to make the liberals listen because they will never talk about what's happening in Nigeria, Egypt, Pakistan, Syria, Iraq, Chad, South Sudan, North Sudan, Iran, Tunisia, Morocco, Indonesia, Pakistan, Algeria. They're not going to talk about it. They're not going to talk about Christians being persecuted in Palestine. We have to break the media narrative. And that starts by freeing your own mind first, as many of us here in the park have. You who are watching need to free your mind and realize that the liberal media are saying, look into this box and ignore everything else that's happening around you. And what do you think the church leaders, can they play a part? Uh... I honestly despair when I think about the bishops. The bishops are useless. And the reason why the bishops are useless is because they don't have any political narrative that is rooted in a Christian identity. So when they try to think about politics, they think about it through a socialist prism or a liberal prism or a liberal progressive prism or a green uh, a political prism. They don't have a political narrative that is rooted in solidarity of Christians with Christians. And until they have such a political narrative, they will continue to be as useless as a chocolate fire guard. Excuse me, should you not be honest when you say something uh, to the camera? I am. Be, no, you're not. I am. No, the way you said it, you said So you what have I lied about? I said, uh, no, I'm listen. The way you said it, you, you're telling people that Christians in Syria, in they Iraq, are in Egypt, they are the only people are being persecuted. Uh, no, no, please don't right. say that. You're trying to hijack the narrative. Not, I didn't say only. Oh, heard you talk Where did about I say only? No, listen, no, the way you said it, that's how, how I understood it. Well, that's, then you weren't paying attention. No, no, no. I didn't no, say no. only. That is how you made Then you were not paying message. attention. The, this that's is the way you said fault. it. No, that's your fault. No, it's the way you said no, it. No, you're hijacking I the narrative. It. I yeah. These guys it. are Dawa. So in other words, they're part of the Dawa. In other words, they're not here. Christians can't talk about persecuted Christians. We 
we can't talk about persecuted Christians. Will I say that we cannot talk about persecuted Christians? We can and we will. We can and we will. You mentioned ISIS and you mentioned the Christians. We mentioned Boko Haram. I also mentioned the Yazidis. Muslims suffer. I also mentioned the Yazidis. And the Muslims. We also mentioned the Yazidis. And the Muslims. Can you learn to speak? Say it. Say it. As the as the Muslims of what? So, so, notice, 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 and the Muslims notice the supremacist okay. ideology of, of this no, 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 gentleman. No, 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 notice the supremacist no, ideology. No, no, notice, no, no, we Christians no, can't no, talk no, about the persecution of Christians. No, 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 we can't. I didn't say that. But did any of the Muslims, when they were talking last week about that heinous crime that happened in New Zealand, did any of them mention? the persecution of Christians in Nigeria? Ah. No, Sir, they didn't. Hey, can I just you did you? I'm, Why are you I'm against you. I'm against it. Were you here last time? Oh, condemn it. No, condemn it on camera. Never talk about it. Of course, condemn it. Condemn it. Of course, course go. Condemn it, please. 500 children were condemned the persecution of Christians. Condemn it. Yeah, condemn also. Listen. Be honest. I did not say it. ISIS's persecution of the Shia Muslims. Okay. Is that okay? Is that all right? Can I go back to talking about murdered Christians now without you being offended? Do you condemn? Do you condemn any white supremacist? Yes, I've spent all day condemning white supremacists. That's fine. All day. I'm happy with that. As and you'll see as, the video. No, what, what, listen, what attracted my attention is when you mentioned ISIS, you only mentioned the Christians. As I also mentioned the Yazidis. You weren't paying attention. But you did mention attention. the Muslims as well. Oh! 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 oh, 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 oh no! When the Muslims? Hold on! Hold on! When the Muslims? Hold on, hold on. Where the the Muslims were you per at the hand of ISIS? Oh, Answer me. Were you preaching this? When the media ignored the death of 120 no, no, Christians no, no, no. in Nigeria on the same no, day, on the same day, no, and only talked about what happened in I'm, New Zealand. I'm, I'm, look, the media. I'm against the media. The media is doing a bad job. And what about the but this brother? I'm, no, listen. Says that it's a hoax. Yeah. The Christians were killed in Nigeria. Fantasies. Why? No, wait. Bro, Why I gotta go. No, I know. Wait. I'm talking about the same subject you're trying to impose no, 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 into no. this conversation. No, because the way anyway, you said this, the way I'm going to go. I, if you're, if you're, go on, Uncle. I'll let you have the last say. Okay, if you're a supporter for humanity in general, yes, okay. and you're up, up, against any oppression, any injustice done to innocent people, you should mention them all. Yes, no, that's, that's, what that's what we've done. Right. Tell the media that. Perfect. Yes. That's why we. What, what, thank you. Exactly what we're talking about. I'm talking to you. You're not the media. Right. The media. Okay, thank you, Uncle. Please, thank you, Uncle. Thank you, Uncle. We're going to go back to our conversation now. So. You have the last did, point because I really am trying yes, to leave. I did finish off with um, saying the church leaders are failed. So what we need, uh, I would say, is that the Christian community has to somehow come up with a plan, just like what happened with the condemnation of this ethno-nationalist murdering those Muslims. We need somehow uh, um, someone that can interact with the Islamic world and get them to say and condemn the atrocities being done in the name of Islam. Because unless those atrocities are addressed by the Islamic community, we, the Christians in northern Nigeria, Chad, Cameroon and Egypt will consistently so, pay so, the price. But I, I would say actually that even before that, something else needs to change. Please tell me. The culture of the church needs to change. The culture of every Christian fellowship across the world needs to change. Because we are divided by our denomination, we are too inward looking, we don't see how our faith interacts in politics and we don't have a narrative of solidarity with our brothers and sisters who are being persecuted and that culture needs to change we need to stand up and we need to become activists in society absolutely look at how for instance We've got to turn in a look at to amen look at how for instance uh, the, the 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 groups that have protested about Palestine have managed to dominate the media agenda. We Christians need to start getting out on the streets. We Christians need to start asking the question in every public forum, why are the liberals quiet about Christophobia? We need to be writing letters. We need to be talking to our neighbors. We need to be talking to our work colleagues. 
We need to be talking about the suffering of our own people and inviting people to join with us in standing against it. We need to stop believing that the response to every problem is just to sit in the church and pray. Yes, pray, but do more than pray. Christians are losing in the West, and we are losing in the West because we follow an effeminized, a doormat kind of Christianity because our bishops are doormats and our bishops are effeminized. What we need is to rediscover activism and use our imaginations and organize our networks so that we can meet the needs of our own community and so that we can stand in solidarity with our brothers and sisters. We need to change the culture of the church. It's not about having some grand plan. It's about having a new way of thinking what it means to be a disciple of Christ. And that is about being an activist to stand up for the cause of the church. I'll give you one example and then I'm really going to go. There was a Christian brother, I think it was up in Sheffield. He got kicked out of his university because he made a Facebook comment and his career was ruined. Now, Christians, like Christian Concern for Our Nation, supported the brother. And I'm sure there were many individual Christians that supported him. But why did the entire Christian community of Sheffield not protest day after day after day at that Sheffield University because of its prejudice against that brother? I'll tell you why. It's because Christians have forgotten how to stand up for themselves. And we need to rediscover Amen. what it means to be more than a conqueror. Can I just make mention to one thing Bob says, standing up for ourselves. He did not call to violence. Or to, Thank you. This is not Christian way. Uh, we will always obviously pray and hope that the Lord inspires anything we do. And we give him the glory for it. But we can't just sit down and just pray and do nothing about it. We need to get involved actively in any way we can. So some of you might be giving charity to those that are displaced by these violent um, actions in North Africa or whatever. You can also support the Christians. You, could, you should hear the laments of the bishops in those regions of Africa where they're persecuted. They say, well, our brothers in the West, they've got tears. You've got full grown men in tears coming down their eyes. They're asking for your help in the West. And I think some of you Christians in the West, in the United States, the Bible Belt, need you, to need grow to, a pair. Yeah, you need to really take this on board. Listen to the cries of your brothers in the developing parts of the world, in India, it's at Pakistan, and other places, and see what they're going through. They're being persecuted, and do what you can. I'm not telling anybody, and no one is telling anyone, to take up any kind of violent action. That is not Christian. What we are saying is be active. That is the Christian way. Prayer, charity, you know, and don't let the word of God be defunct, because that is what the enemy is trying to do. And definitely one thing that you should do, is to push your governments to do more than simply give this problem lip service. Push your governments to do that which is necessary to stop Boko Haram. To stop it. Not just say it's wrong and it's bad. Not interested in your speeches. Do what's necessary to stop Boko Haram. Yes. And, and the Fulanis. And the Fulani. And those that persecute the Coptics. God bless you. Thank Amen. You,